Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a fairy loot unboxing. I'll address the arm uh, first. Uh, basically, I've hurt my wrist, don't know how, but yeah, so why not? But let's dive in. So, oh. So the, ooh, that's very pretty. So the um, theme is Hidden Identities. This is April's box. So I will give that to you guys. You can pause it and see. So that's that. I'm just going to, ooh, I'm going to, ooh, I see a bag. Can never have too many bags and i'll do what i did last time i will literally um at the end tell you where everything comes from but i don't want to get spoiled yet that's very nice Ooh. then we have a little envelope i think this might be a pin this is a pin it's quite beautiful actually this is by ic designs and this is inspired by the um city of brass series that's that one. Then we have, ooh, cherry blossom soap. Oh. Hmm, so that's so that cherry blossom. Again, I will tell you what that's inspired at the end. Ooh, and then we have got some very pretty bookends, which is. You can never have too many bookends. So that's that one. And there is another one of them, which is pretty cool. Then we have, oh, they're a little bit crushed, but we have some beautiful bookmarks. So we've got that one, which I don't know who the characters are, but again, I will tell you in a bit. Then we've got, that one, which is very pretty. Then we also have that one. I forgot they said we're getting bookmarks in this one. And then, let me check. Yeah, we're down to the book. Ooh, which has lovely purple sprayed edges. And let me. So, the fairy scoop. Um, Spellcraft. <laughs> I know what the book is for next month. Uh, the interview and the thing. So, yep. I am glad I held off buying that book because I was tempted. Uh, and then we have some artwork. And Fairy Lou, um, oh, no, what is it? The author letter. So, we've got that. And then we have, ooh, very, ooh, that's very pretty. So we have that on that side, then we have that on that side, and then that. So I got too excited. So it's the, the Prisoner Healer, the Prison, yeah, the Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. Um, I've heard people talk about this. So let's have, oh, wow. This is very pretty. Okay, let me, oh my God, that's beautiful. So we'll go that way. That is very pretty. Cool. And then, look how beautiful that is. Fairy Loot are doing an awesome job with their books recently. And then we've got red one there. And then let me have a look because I don't actually know what this is about. So. 17-year-old Kiva Meriden is a survivor. For 10 years, she has worked as a healer in a notorious, notorious death prison, making herself indispensable, kept afloat by a message of hope from her family. Kiva has a, one goal and one goal, goal only, to stay alive. Ooh, I don't really want to read more because I want to go into it blind, but yeah. This is, I know I said last month that it was my favourite box, but I definitely think this could be a high contender as well so let me run through where everything came from so um 
The metal bookends were inspired by Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien and designed by Jess Hawk. So that's pretty cool. Then the hand soap was inspired by The Flame in the Mist by an Rene Adier and made by The Little Heart Gifts. So that's pretty cool. The tape bag was, oh, inspired by the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout and ARZ28 was the person who designed it. Then the, I said about the enamel pin. So the bookmarks were inspired by the Poppy War um, by Ara Kwong, Blood Air by Emil, and An Emma in the Ashes. So that was pretty cool. Um, and Talia Noble designed them. Oh, and I forgot to show you these. So these are the seven of eight of wands. They are designed by Morgan and inspired by Serpent and Dove series. Ooh, I need want to read that. So that is everything that was included. Um, I think my favourite items are actually the, the book and the bookmarks because they are stunning. If you guys got this box, let me know what your favourite item was. And if anyone's read this, what they thought of it. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys. Bye. Okay, so filming Kitty got a little bit too excited and forgot to show you guys the bookmark that goes along with the spoiler card. But very beautiful.